Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. To place. Good morning, good morning, morning, good morning, morning. Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Update. I am Adana Kambi and I'm continuing conversations with our guest in studio. We are talking to Rochelle Small, assistant leader of the Roxborough Police Youth Club. We know that youth clubs have been put in place to help us. Um, and we've seen when they bring in these youths, they take them off the streets, they get them out of crime. And they, they provide a platform that helps them to develop skills, that exposes them to a lot of things in and around the world. You know, we see youth clubs going off to different countries and, and participating in different events. So this morning we want to speak with Miss Rochelle Smalley, assistant leader of Roxborough Police Youth Club, as they celebrate their 33rd anniversary. Good morning, Rochelle, and welcome. Hi, good morning. Right, so you guys at Roxborough Police Youth Club, you are celebrating your 33rd anniversary and I want to say congratulations to you for sustaining this club for so long. Uh, tell us your role and your responsibilities and what we can look forward to. I, I also want to address some of the challenges that you might have faced over the years and where we are now. Okay, so thank you for having me this morning. Firstly, I must say, Happy anniversary to the Roxborough Police Youth Club, as today marks 33 years in exo anniversary. Also, our theme, we are celebrating success, continuing our trend in producing excellent outcomes. And for this anniversary, we also have a open day today, which showcases or successes or achievements throughout the past 33 years. This is running during the period of 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. today. So we are inviting the community and outskirts to come and, and view what the club has been offering to our youths in the community for the past 33 years. As celebrating our 33rd anniversary, or ceremony and anniversary on December 3rd at 10 a.m. at the Roxborough Anglican Church. This is where we will be awarding some of our members within the club, and not only the club, but within the community. For example, in CSEC um, um, examination, C awards, CAPE awards, and just to name a few, so we will have members who portray leadership skills who they can too also obtain an award for their leadership skills that they portray within the club. Right. So as I mentioned, you know, police youth clubs have been doing a really, really good thing in communities across Tobago uh, where we really encourage our young people. You know, you bring them in and you teach them, you, you, you train them in certain skills, you expose them to a lot of different activities that help them to be grounded. And I want to congratulate you again on your 33rd anniversary. I want to congratulate you again also on acknowledging the um, accomplishments and achievements of your members in terms of awarding them because people do do feel good when they are acknowledged, when they when they feel seen, you know, so they continue to strive even for greater things as they continue in life. So you're saying on the 3rd of December is when the award ceremony is taking place and there's an open yeah. day today from 9 to 3? To 3 p.m. Right, and what, what can we expect at the open day today? Well, at this open day, you will see a award club achieved over the past 33 years trophies, we will also see uh, pictures or, or videos of the club as they traveled to New York and their performances. We'll also have memorabilia there so that you can take part of. And it's, it's, it's also an incentive that uh, we can encourage more youths to join not only the Roxville Police Youth Club, but other youth clubs true. I'm about to ask if you're going to um, be recruiting members as well 
to join the club, you know. And I'm, I like how you encourage them to join any any police youth club across the island of Tobago because they might Roxborough might not be convenient for them. But the fact that you endorse police youth clubs across the island, you know, I, I really every time I talk about youth and I talk about opportunities for youth, I get excited because I know once they have that foundation, chances are that they will do well. So congratulations there for you again. How do you become a member of the um, Police Youth Club? It is very easy. All you need to do is just visit the youth club and fill out your forms, and that's basically it. If are there you want to contact one of our members, you can contact them via personal cell phone. It doesn't have any restrictions or anything like that. Just come, feel free, just walk into the club, sign out a form, and you're in. Right, and are there f any fees in terms of registration fee or membership fees, subscription fees, monthly fees? Are there any fees attached to being a no, member of the club? There are no, there are no fees attached. It's free. Free, free. But free. how do you sustain the club if there are no fees? Well, we have certain fundraisers that we will throw throughout the year. We have uh, some, some what. Uh, Funds being accessed through um, in the who will sponsor us based on what type of activities we have and activities just like that. Simple. Right. So it's basically it's basically sponsorship and you know um, fundraising. What are some of your fundraising activities that you usually um, host throughout the year? Well, at times we'll have um we'll have like we'll have sports we have the football tournaments that is currently going on where teams will come and register to play and so forth um we also have the netball competitions and programs such as the the homework centers and so forth Excellent. And of course, I like how you incorporate the sporting aspects in, the, in your fundraising. Again, um, encouraging your young people to be a part of something that is meaningful in their communities as well. Um, showcasing some people might have skills they don't even know about when they participate in these football events. You know, you see the skills coming out. Somebody might spot them and say, hey, we're drafting you for this team. You know, so I really want to commend and congratulate you guys on your 33rd anniversary. What are some of the things outside of the apart from the open day today and your awards ceremony on the 3rd of December, what other activities do you have planned leading up to or as a part of your celebrations? So upcoming in December as well, we'll be having Project Black, which will be held at the Delaford Community Center. This is basically in form of a concert that we will have different uh, showcase, different events such as dancing, drumming, speech band, and other cultural aspects. Right. So we have like a cultural show coming up. Um, when when in December is this? You have a date for it yet? The, it will be on December the tenth. The tenth, okay. At awesome. 10 awesome. And how is how has it been for you? How long have you been a member of this youth club, and how has it been for you in terms of interacting with the youths and even other youth youth uh, police youth clubs across the island and other engagements outside of Tobago? So I've been a part of this youth club for two years approximately, and for me it has been a very eye-opening experience to me, especially the fact that, that I'm now a part of the executive. Interacting with the youth, it, it gave me a sense of becoming a great leader one day and being able to interact with youth within my community and to also assist in the, in the turn young people from the life of crime and knowing the, the job that I am in, it has somewhat become a passion for me to deal with young people, young children. It is sort of 
improving my skills as a police officer. So it has been a great experience and I'm looking forward to many more years to come with the group as I, with the police too, as I continue to grow, not only within the community, but within myself. If ever there was a selling point to join a club, that would be it. Your very own experience is enough to encourage young people across the Bay to find themselves as part of a police youth club or any youth organization that is focused on something that is meaningful. Because, I mean, as you said, it, 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 it helped you to realize your leadership skills. I'm sure those skills were there before, but you never had the opportunity until you joined the youth club. So it, it gives you an opportunity to showcase your skills and to develop on those skills as well as exposes you to a lot of other opportunities um, that can come from being a part of these clubs. In closing, is there anything you want to share with our viewers this morning? So what I would like to say is parents, we need to have these children or young children enrolled in a police youth club. It is very young children and it, it helps them to acknowledge their abilities, their skills to become a better person as they grow towards their future. So please, parents, take the young ones to the police youth club, have them registered, and have them uh, be purposeful in their life. Thank you very much, Rochelle Small. We've been speaking with Rochelle Small. She's the assistant leader of the Roxborough Police Youth Club, and she's talking about their 33rd anniversary and her experience in being a part of the Police Youth Club. Today, of course, all our conversations with our guests this morning was about congratulations. So I just want to say uh, to Tobago, we are doing things, we are moving up, and I want to encourage all of us to bind together as we continue to improve ourselves, as we continue to improve our communities and our society at large. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we end the morning show on Tobago Updates, but we have not finished yet. We're going to go on into Tobago Notes, but we've, and after that, we're going over to GMT, where we speak to Beneath the Surface, and this morning we speak with Assemblyman Ian Palad. So stay with us. We encourage you to stay with us, and while we go for a break, of course, we invite you to share the live, share the live, share the live.